Got that one. And... Yeah, you're feeling sick. Fight me, dude. Dr. Tully's gotta be here. I don't know. Dr. Tully's probably dead. Alright, last ditch effort to do this and become that. Okay. So, knobs. The oh, fuck is that sound? Alright, what's this? Defeat. Failure. Countless infusions. Countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. In the true origin of raw science? Ooh, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think it takes much longer. This hall thinks to him. I have only one option that remains. One last close proverbial dice. Commence Project Mant. Okay, whatever that is. Let's set our spawn point. We'll sleep until morning. Okay, Project Mant it is. Inventory this. Might low. We're going to eat that. And are we going this way? Solve this. Salt shards. Nice and safe. Anything in the trash can? No. Okay. So what is in here? Son of a bitch. Wow, they definitely changed this up because these did not used to be here. Where are you? Is that like a beefy muscle attached to a muscle sprout? That's awesome. Uh, category Project Mant Muscle Loss. Pre test notes Muscle sprout bonding with the calcium carbonate in the new Formicidae family has been surprisingly efficient. The new anthropodic limbs of the vessel are superior to human equivalents in almost every way. Muscle loss over time continues to be an unfortunate side effect. It appears the body is nourishing itself on the enzymatic proteins of the sprouts. Introducing haze fungus injections to counteract degradation. And there's a little mant statue. All right. What's this? Uh, mant condensed science. Pretest notes. The condensed science produced by the mixer should work as a perfect bonding agent for this anatomical marvel I've stitched together. Where carapace meets muscle sprout, there, uh, where mandibles become toes, it's worth noting that condensed science, the spongy evolution of this miraculous particle, is very sensitive to heat stimulants. Therefore, I'll be molding the shape of these implants at low power. I don't want to overcook the science. Results failure. Reduced power settings, unstable, numerous L time surgers fried several of the most tender sections of the vessel. The smell is almost unbearable. Good thing Burgle isn't here to see my incompetent cooking skills. I'd never hear the end of it. Back to the drawing board. Time to assemble another cadaver. Okay, so this was some kind of operating table. That's grim. Can't I pick up the statue or something? Oh, here we go. Mant Zip P Fiber. Phase one complete, I've successfully transplanted several spinneret glands from local orb weavers into the man cadaver. While the body lacks an arachnid abdomen, I've taken inspiration from various Mbioptera species and placed web-producing glands in the forelegs, or arms in this case. 
Phase 2 will entail raw science infusion in the attempt to strengthen web production, uh, much like my earlier ZP tests. Result success, web production is plentiful, and all extruded samples measure tensile strength levels far superior to that of any natural arachnid. With the large spinnerets located in the arms, web production should feel quite natural. While the glands are still large enough to make a certain web slinging superhero jealous, I'm certain navigating the dangers of the yard will become a thing of the past. Oh, and here's another one. Preliminary fungal germination tests have been promising. Cordyceps receptors show innate attraction to the vessel's protocerebral mass. Involuntary spasms and twitches have been documented throughout the process. With each infusion of raw science, the mant is showing signs of life. In order to control the vessel, I have rigged a neural relay to the antenna lobes. This should allow for rudimentary control of the subject. Results, partial success. I was able to pilot the mant from a prone position, including finger articulation, for over four minutes. It was a surreal experience to see through the alien eyes of an insect. An almost digital pixel-based display washed in a usual color spectrum. It will take several more tests before my human brain can acclimate to such an oddly wonderful view of the world. Leg articulation was more challenging than anticipated. Additional muscle sprout grafts must be scheduled before another ambulatory trial commences. My proverbial baby steps are but days away. Anything else? Anything else I have to read, you son of a bitch? Alright, so Mant, and there's Dungeons and Dragons books. But what's this called? This is called Minotaurs and Megalodons. Alright, let's grab the candy bars, because those are going to be useful. Oh, there's another one. Come on, there we go. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunct, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. What's this? Brainwave functions are spiking. Impossible! Oh. Oh. Ah. Blasted hominid tech! Turn it off! Turn it off! That doesn't sound like hello. Nice to meet you. No, that would be the man. Oh, hell no. I'll fight giant bugs all week long, but I'll draw the line at scary ass man bug monsters. I like scary ass man bug monsters. That sounds better. Alright, is there anything up here? Other than obviously a way to see the man. Anything? Negative. Got a new one. Okay, stabbing fresh and slashing. So this is gonna be our ticket item, and here we go. Keep up on the air, on the man. Wow. You hit like a fucking truck, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. I got the man. What the hell? And that was how the other bugs got in. And there's a nine volt power center, whatever the hell that is. Let me out. All 
All right, now what? like an agent guys schmechter's agents would come shrouded in the subterfuges of your ilk know no limits still you do seem a bit young to be in the employ of ominent oh what have i done uh honestly a lot and i'm kind of concerned i I can say to that. It may have been Schmechter and his corporate goons that pulled the switch, but it is still my invention and my responsibility to think that you have been caught up in all of this. Your children, not much older than my Sarah or Thor. Oh, what has become of me? Threatening death to children. But also, what are you doing here? It's a long story. Well, that's fair. I have no doubt terrible things have brought you here. Terrible things that are undoubtedly my fault. I never meant to hurt anyone. I don't deserve it, but I hope one day you can forgive me. Speaking of forgiveness, please excuse my shriveled appearance this blasted reasoning has taken its toll on my body my support pod is the only thing keeping me from drying out completely why are you hiding here when the reasoning became too much i realized i had to find a cure before it was too late i hid here away from the eyes so many crying eyes. Ominent has always wanted to steal my work. They would never admit its worth and greatness, and yet they would always take it. Especially Schmechter. I have made many mistakes in my life. Countless, really. But one that I will never make again is to allow my discoveries to fall into the hands of that corporation. If I must die for it, so be it. Tell me about reasoning. Like the grape set out in the sun, the body shrivels, withers, desiccates, becoming a husk of what was once a living being. In essence, what you see here before you, in all its unholy glory, the withered man. Can I be raisin? Well, if you will allow me to check your scabby. You haven't been in the yard long, but long enough that signs of raisining would be apparent. Nothing in my research has shown that there is any immunity to it, and yet here you are. Perhaps it is that your youthful bodies are more resistant than others. Likely this is why Ominent was experimenting on children to begin with. Which means, did Schmechter find a cure? Hmm, I'm not sure. No, but I am. I have no doubt. Damn, as much as I loathe the man, I must admit that Schmechter is 
brilliant in his own way, though his methods can be quite distasteful. We cannot rule out the possibility that he has done it. Could that mean there is hope for me? I need to go home. Home. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Home. Your parents must be worried. So very worried. The process is not difficult. You will simply need to brew an embiggening cocktail at the Javamatic machine. Okay, what's the secret? The embiggening process is extremely taxing on living subjects. You'll need enough nutrients and proteins to survive the expansion to your original size. Okay. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Okay. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of overexpansion. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to overexpansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. To counter this, sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Grilled science. Grilled science? Grilled science! Raw science represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by Burgle's spatula, and emerges as something greater. Plump and juicy. Grilled science. It reminds me of the barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy. Sarah. Thor. The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. All right. Uh, grilled science it is. The hell do I have in my inventory? Uh... Why do I have pollen? Don't know. Uh, what is that? Fungus pacho. There it is. That's one of my favorites. Uh, we're gonna consume Shout that. Down. And then any more? Uh, wow, this has all of them. Yeah, I'm good. Are you ready to go? We'll need some grilled science. I got it. Good. Good. Then we have everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. You haven't failed your children yet. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There we can blend the embiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close. Uh, okay. Personally, I'm not ready to uh, to do that, but whatever. I have other things I would love to do in the yard first. But let's see. Anything fantastic that we can't live without? Well, there's the embiggening cocktail. I need fish scales, toenails. I have all of this stuff. Billy Hawk right about now. Oh, dude, shut up. You're loud, you're annoying, you're obnoxious. And like I said, I have other things that I would like to get done. So, we found... A little peep.
No, I wanted the fork sensor. Yeah, I guess I didn't get it. Uh, that's okay, because we can just drop the stuff that we don't really need. Wait, were those widow fangs? Those were widow fangs. Never mind, we're going to keep a hold of those. Um, let's see. We have got to go all the way back around to this thing over here. And yeah, so that's going to be fun. And here is an infected wolf spider. They are weak to slicing and all that, so... Let's fight him. Ooh. Um... That was certainly easier than it's been before. Oh, milk molar. Alright, so this is the last treasure chest in the game. We swim around the other side. We get two milk molars, the recipe. And now we get the hell out of the water. Over this direction. No, no. Let me out of the water. Thank you. Nope. You son of a bitch. Let me out of the damn water. Okay. There we go. Uh, this was not the one to get on. This was. Alright, so now we have the recipe for... I believe it's bomb arrows? Bomb arrows, there we go. So we need gunpowder, fungal growth, and splinter arrows. I can make an absolute shit ton of those. Um... Yeah, that's... Pretty much that Ooh. okay uh let me out so we got those milk molars there's a couple milk molars in the pond that we can go after but largely we just need to get ready for the final battle which we're completely upgraded right now um, I guess we could do some of the optional bosses, but I need to go back to the base for that. So, that's what we'll do. We'll go back to our base, which is... Uh, here. Yes? Yes. We'll go back to our base, and I will see you guys there. No point in you watching me run everywhere. I'm gonna pick up some milk molars along the way if I come across them. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Uh, there's a milk molar up here. If we just drop down... Where is it? Here? There we go. That's okay. That gives us five regulars, three of the other ones, and I think we need four of the other ones for everything, but I don't know. We'll go check. All right, so um, <clears throat> we have got uh, the beginnings of a base worked out. 
Um, I need to start growing toadstools because otherwise the mushrooms are going to take way too damn long because the, the amount of mushrooms I currently have took like two days in game um, to grind up and bake and all that stuff. So up to our staging area where we have plank storage on or stem storage on one side, plank storage on the other with cute little aphid up top and then the weevil on the other. And if you put these right next to each other, you can actually make the weevil look normal. Uh, stone and clay baskets are here. I don't know why I have my sword out. I don't need it. Uh, this is our staging area. I want to... Um, I want to... Do something like mushroom walls. There and... Yeah, where to go, where to go, where to go. Actually, I might do ash. The ash looks really, really good. The mushroom is cheaper by far. But the ash stuff looks really amazing. Although, maybe I'll just... I'll just do the... Um mushroom stuff and then we go back up to the mushroom walls where the fuck are they mushroom window wall just flanking that and i do have a few mushroom brick actually i got some stuff there we go so there is our front door and we've got a little bit of a patio to a zip line. This is going to connect to Let's a platform I've been building over there on the tree. You can't see it from here, but there's a single platform made out of the easiest material to build with, which is this burr floor. It just takes forever to harvest them. Uh, so that's going very, very, very slowly. Um, yeah, so there's that. I built a dew collector here. So that we can no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. get our sippy. And then down here, let me see if this helps. There we go. So I need to put some lighting down here, but uh, we've got things like the workbench, our uh, spinning wheels, our grinders, our ovens, which hold a special surprise in them, and the uh, jerky racks, as well as our storage. Uh, raw candy chunks, tools and armor trinkets, upgrade materials, raw upgrade materials, tier 3 materials, tier 3 bug parts, blah, 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 blah. Lots of things uh, to work with there. And of course, we've got our bed, which I should probably set my respawn point because, yeah. Um, I need to go remove that flag because it's no longer helpful. I want to completely max out my milk molar. Um, my milk molars. In fact, let's see. That's a really long way down. Um, I want to completely max out my milk molars and mega molars so that I have the best chance of surviving the next little part of the game because it is significantly harder when you're playing by yourself. Not to say that it's impossible, Jesus. Stay away. All right, fine. You are weak to salty and slashing. So one, two. Man, that brood mother armor with its poison or venom debuff. So powerful. See? Venom debuff. That is awesome. All right, let's go in here. So it occurs to me, I got the brain power unlock for the thistle, but I never researched it. I was wondering what I was missing because I am I still have one or two things that I haven't researched. Okay. Mega Milk Molar, max uh, consumable size. Perfect. And then we've got five of these, so why not do max health? 
And I think that's pretty much everything we need. We got everything that's useful. I mean, maybe I should unlock everything just because, you know, it would be prudent. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get back up to the house really quick and then I'll show you what the surprise is. It does look really good, or at least it's starting to. Uh, I'm not really much for interior design, but we do need to do something. So down in the bottom right hand corner, you see we have coziness level one. Uh, we need to get that up to coziness level five in order to unlock absolutely everything. Um, and that's easier said than done. But once we build a house, we decorate it, we put fancy things in it, we make it look badass, and then we're good to go. Uh, off the back here, with all this space that's left, um, I think I'm going to do a garden with a bunch of garden plots in it. Um, actually, let me show you. I'm going to activate the handy nat. There we go. Okay, so this is the uh, handy net, and it allows us to basically build in sort of a free roam kind of thing. It's really useful in survival because you can aim in ways that you normally can't. Uh, it, it just makes building a hell of a lot easier. I gotta remember exactly how to do this because I had this down to a science at one point. I'm going to do that, then I'm going to go back here into the useful stuff, and we need... Uh, where the hell is it? I know we've unlocked it. I just don't see it. Garden plot. <laughs> Where the hell is it? No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Where's the garden plot? Garden patch. Okay. So the garden patch will snap to things. Uh, can I... Will that let me stand on it? No. Um... So the garden patch will let me Hmm. I don't recall now. I had this down to a science at one point. Out. Basically, if you put down these, whoops. And then you add the garden patch to it. Uh, I think these have to be built first. My bad. Um, and then you... So, follow me, camera guy, best you can. You put down the foundations, one below your main area. You put down the garden patch like this, and then you grab one of these burr half floors. You can actually put it so that this half covers the um, the garden plot, makes it a lot easier to interact with the garden plot and whatnot. So um, we're going to do that for this back garden. It'll be useful for making a shit ton of mushroom bricks, which is my favorite building material in the game. Even though the ash stuff is much uh, stronger, the ash stuff is also very expensive. So... Um, it could be considered not really worth it. But uh, on to the surprise. Down in the deep where the dragons used to sleep. Um, the ovens. The ovens are loaded with Orcus Mantis, Orchid Mantis Kebab. Um... And yeah, so that's what we're going to do in just a little bit. We're going to head over to the Mantis or the Orchid Mantis uh, arena, which is right there. 
that flat that orchid bush which those aren't orchids but um we're gonna go fight the mantis and i might even make a zip line over there just to make this easy because the orchid mantis unlocks the ability for us to do the oh uh, no not the wasp queen oh, huh. that's interesting the orchid mantis allows us the ability to fight the infected brood mother maybe we'll have to see i can't i can't remember off the top of my head right now i'm so sorry uh, but we will uh, jump on that to take care of that. Oh, I really need to put these away. That's the old one. That's the old one. That's definitely the old one. I don't need you in my inventory at all. So yeah, we're going to load up with kebabs. Uh, I'm going to travel over there, hopefully put down like a zip line or something that will uh, make traveling there a hell of a lot easier. And uh, we're going to fight the mantis. All right, so oh, huh. that's interesting. Shut up, dude. I mean, it did take a couple of days, but I managed to get it done. So the zip line goes from here to the oak tree. And in the biggest trial of patience ever, I have this um, platform down. I need to turn that zip line to face this direction so that I can get up and down to burgle really easily. And in fact, while I'm thinking about it, let me, we'll grab this, do a mushroom wall, let's see. We do a mushroom wall here. And then we do a zip line. Then we should be able to get up here without any issues, though we might have to tweak that a little bit. Anyway, uh, then I ran over to the pot and I did a little more crafting. It was a hell of a lot easier because there's a couple of spiky burr weeds over here. So. I didn't have to go so far for all the materials. All right, and here we are at a little pebble foundation. This, so this is one of the easiest things to build because clay and pebbles you can carry in your pocket. So anyway, that's why I pick uh, pebble foundations more often than not. Anyway, uh, so we'll put down this. We'll super build it. We'll set our respawn point. We'll sleep until morning. And now we can fight the mantis. Let me make sure I got this loaded with bomb arrows. I had enough fungus for 30 of them. Actually, there's like 33, but I can only carry stacks of 30 right now, so I digress. Um, and I don't remember what the orchid mantis is. Salty. Say your prayers. Come on. Yeah, that that scream that he does. Is uh, rough. Come on. And that is the hardest attack that he has right there. And there's the scream. I hate the fact that the bosses have this one scream that you can't block. And we were supposed to fight this guy a hell of a long time ago when this fight should have been a hell of a lot harder, but it's not. Okay, I stole something from him. Got 
gotcha, bitch. Down the mantis goes. We take his apex predator. Now he has, um, where is it? He has a drop that he gets, um, that's very beneficial. So I'm gonna grind him out through the rest of these, and I will be right back with you. Hopefully we can get the drop. It's very rare. <laughs> 